If you ever struggle to find the time or hate paying someone else to consistently create high-ranking blog posts, compelling videos, and far-reaching social media posts that draw patients to your practice, then listen up because in this video, I'm going to explain and show you exactly how you can use the AI platform, ChatGPT, to do exactly those things for you in less than half the time it normally takes. Welcome to today's episode. My name is Jared Carter. I'm a physical therapist, a cash-based practice owner, and the creator of the Cash Pay Profit Formula. I help healthcare providers like you to create your own cash-based concierge or out-of-network practice so you can, in reliance on greedy insurance companies, provide a level of care you are ultimately proud of and regain control of your profits and your future. So if you're new here, definitely consider subscribing because I put out episodes like this all the time and they always have a free resource associated with them to get you results faster. And the free resource this week is going to be a downloadable PDF where you can copy paste all the things you're going to be learning and seeing in today's episode, including the exact prompts and templates that you can use to get the best response, the fastest, most powerful responses from ChatGPT. And I'm also going to include the now like perfect jumping off point editable blog post that, that we're going to get to at the end so that you can take it and edit it and very quickly if you treat low back pain in your clinic, uh, have a nice high ranking SEO optimized uh, article for your website. And you can get that download at drjaredcarter.com forward slash episode 19, episode 19. Okay, let's dig in. The example I'm gonna use in this video is the creation of a blog post or a nice long article for a physical therapy clinic website, a physical therapy clinic that treats low back pain, which most, of, not all, but most of them do. And it's a, you know, it's, a, it's one of the most common things that um, puts people in physical therapy. And so I thought it'd be a good, a good starting point. But please know that you can take everything you're going to learn here and apply it. As I'd mentioned in the, in the very beginning of this episode, this can be applied to create scripts for videos. It can be applied to do, uh, to create skip, uh, scripts for social media videos and reels, or just good written contact, you know, long Form written contact uh, content uh, on certain social platforms like LinkedIn and even still Facebook uh, to this day can really have a great impact. Uh, you know, and maybe it's you're associating it with a video, or you're associating it with a nice image. So this can it can work in all of those different areas. It can work with you know creating uh, other parts of your website. It can work for trifold brochures or any kind of handouts that you're creating. I mean, really anything that you need to create text for a text that has good calls to action is written in a way uh, that meets the reader where they're at because you're you're going to tell chat gpt what your reader who your reader is and describe you know their pain points and that kind of stuff or it's going to know their pain points and you it, you can put it together and put it to use for so many different things. So I don't want you to think that this is just a way to create blog posts. It is, but it's a way to create so many different things. So we're going to dig in first by looking at a template for your prompts, the things that you're going to put into ChatGPT to get the output and text that you want. It's really important to give it a good amount of context and know that as you go into this, you're not going to put in one prompt and necessarily get exactly what you want in the first go. You're going to have to put in another prompt and another prompt and kind of guide it until you get to the place that you want. And please know also that at least at the time of this recording, the goal with this is not to have uh, you know a copy pastable 100% ready to go article. You'll take it'll take forever to get there, but it, it's quite quickly can get you 75% of the way there. And that's, and as you see, you know, I have to do a bit of back and forth with this and this isn't like crazy fast, but it's still for what I end up with at the end, you know, it's probably, I, pr I probably got there using chat GPT 50% faster and it's only going to get faster and better and better as the AI improves. So already that would have saved, you know, this would have saved me a good hour or two of work getting to that point where I'm just putting the finishing touches up and changing a few things in and out. Okay, so those prompts, let's have a look at this. And again, you can get this just copy pasteable format at drjaredcarter.com forward slash episode 19. You'll just scroll down and find where we have the download uh, uh, box there. So prompts, you're gonna, you're gonna start out with, I want you to act as, and then you insert something here. So in, our, in my case, yeah, I want you to act as an expert physical therapist. And as you'll see, I kind of take that 
and expand it also to someone who's an expert copywriter. So you're conveying the exact context or type of person mindset, whatever that you're, it's operating under. Uh, then you're going to say what you're going to provide, right? So I will, uh, example, for example, I'll give you the target market of the readers for this article you'll be creating. Um, and then you will, and you're just, we're going to set the goals and exactly what the output should, should be. The output should be, sorry. Uh, you will create a campaign to promote the product. I didn't really, you know, change this up too much uh, from, from what my assistant provided. But and, and another example might be like, you will create a 2000 word article on low back pain that will appeal to, you know, the, the uh, readers who have low back pain and compel them to, you know, pick up the phone and, and call. And you'll, you, again, you'll see my prompt from this template here in a moment. You can add more details. You know, the, the messaging uh, should be funny or in a humorous tone. Um, you know, it should be serious. It should be at a sixth grade reading level or whatever the case may be. If it's like with this clinical stuff, a lot of times people, um, you know, clinicians, tend to speak over the head of the average reader and the average patient. And that's a that's a big no-no, honestly. And chat GPT is very conversational and it has built in components of it that keep it, uh, the output that it creates at a lower, you know, more at the average reading level. But if you need to, if you feel like something's getting a little too technical, you can, you can add those kinds of things in and add another prompt and say, you know, I'd, I'd like to bring the, bring the, the messaging to a, a lower level of, of readership. I shouldn't say lower level of readership, but a lower reading level. <laughs> okay. So, um, so let's skip over here now to this part of chat GPT. So this is what I came up with. And this is a long you know, chain. We're not going to read everything word for word by any means. It's more about you learning how you can work with this platform to get the output that you want and how to use prompts. It's like the, as, um, as what I think I, I hear, I know I hear Tony Robbins say this, but I'm sure it came from others as well. But the quality of your questions determine the quality of your life. And, and I'll tell you, the quality of your questions and prompts with ChatGPT definitely determines the quality of the output. So my first prompt is I want you to act as an expert physical therapist who's also an expert at writing articles that are search engine optimized to rank very highly for specific keywords and key phrases. I will provide you the key phrases to optimize the article for and also provide the target audience for the article. You will provide an article that is between two and 3,000 words with a target audience of people looking for information on low back pain treatment or solutions written in a way that will stir emotional responses and compel them to call your physical therapy clinic to request a consultation. Here are the key phrases that you will target. And I hit return, which put the prompt in and he says, okay, what are those key phrases? So I had my assistant do the SEO research on this to get some of the top ranking, or sorry, top volume uh, key phrases surrounding low back pain. And notice some say low back pain and some say lower back pain. And these things make a difference. But he did that because when I tried to get ChatGPT to do it, um, it, I realized that it's not actually tapping into keyword research tools for its output. And on another note, it right now at the time of this recording, and this will change, I'm sure quite soon, it can't, if you were like, if you were to say, hey, where did, you know, please provide the references uh, or the research or, you know, the web, the web links to wherever you got this information, it can't do that right now. Um, so it can't do true keyword research. So I had my, um, my staff do that and provided that here. And so then this is the first thing it, it spit out. And I mean, I was immediately quite impressed, right? And so I'm not going to go through all of it. Um, so we have kind of like an intro, understanding low back pain, exercise for low back pain, stretches for low back pain, and a conclusion. I said, great job. Now I'd like to add a section on manual therapy for, for low back pain since we do a lot of that in my clinic. So he said, sure, I can add a, a section for that. So we got the intro, understanding, exercises, stretches, and then manual therapy for low back pain. And at that point, it kind of cut off. And I was like, well, how many words was in the last response? It was definitely more than 167, but I, I was like, what's going on here? So I said, as I mentioned above, I'd really like this to be, you know, two to 3,000 words, right? And so I uh, apologize for the oversight. Here's an updated article to your word count. So kind of similar thing. They expanded out that, but then it stopped again. I was like, okay, wait a minute. It seems like this is, um, you know, six to 700 words now. Can you expand the article? and make it at least 2000 words. <laughs> like, what's going on here? So, um, it, it, 
once again, it gets to this point and it stops. I said, do your responses have a word limit? So now you guys don't have to spend time on this. Now, if you have chat GPT plus where you pay for it, I think that they don't have a word limit or as much of one, um, but I'm still using the free version in this video. So um, that made sense. I was like, okay, so look, you know, it, it said I can break up my response into multiple messages. So that's perfect. And I said, I also want to, I knew some things I already wanted to add based on what it had already come up with. And so I said, please add something, you know, explaining there were different types of back pain and that some of the stretches in our uh, stretches and exercise below can be relieving for one type and not for another. So it's incredibly important that you have, you be evaluated by a PT and get, you know, prescribed exactly what's going to work for you and your type of back pain. Right. So this starts it breaking up into sections. We got a nice little introduction there. And I was just saying, please continue. And it would then it popped out exercises for low back pain, stretches for low back pain, now manual therapy for low back pain. Just continue, continue, continue. Conclusion. Now I said, um, great job. Let's go back. Yeah, I, I read through it, right? And, and if this is how you kind of just guide it along the way to get where you want to be. I said, let's go back to the introduction and let's add some research and, and statements about how um, people tend to get people, or sorry, people tend to get better uh, faster with lower costs, less invasive interventions by starting with PT first before other professionals like pain management or sur page management specialists or surgeons. So um, they did and they added in really nicely. And again, we uh, unfortunately, you, like if you're doing this at the time of this recording, you would need to go. I would suggest going and grabbing the actual links to those research studies that do show that getting PT first lowers costs and in invasive procedures, etc. Okay, so I said another great job. And I was just curious at this point. I think this is good for you guys to see. I said, how do you know this article is going to uh, is optimized to rank highly for the key phrases I gave you? And I'm not going to read this response, but it was very important. Uh, I, I was I thought, you know, yeah, very impressive. I imagine that this is probably going to rank pretty well at following SEO best practices, right? So I said, okay, I want to take the article further while maintaining the SEO components and the great patient education, please act as a marketing ac expert to add emotion provoking content that someone dealing with back pain can personally relate to and ultimately is going to get them to call us, right? I said, sure. And and so this was where a big change happened. And, and this is apparently not uncommon with ChatGPT. And it it was actually funny. My uh, my mother, who is a copywriter, uh, was over yesterday, and we're and she came over because um, she was doing a training or getting a training on the use of Chat GPT and copywriting, and it was fa it was fantastic. And I was kind of listening in in the background as I worked, and he used this analogy that I thought was really great of um, utilizing Chat GPT at least right now at the time of this recording. It's a lot like playing. Um, bumper bowling, where they kind of fill in the, the the gutters with those air bumpers, and you know it will it will often kind of veer off in one direction, and you're like, wait, wait, it'll come back this way, you know, and just kind of keeping it in its lane until you get to the finish line, and that's what you have to do with your prompts, and you'll see this happens a few times from here forward of me trying to kind of maintain the things that I liked from before while also maintaining this great new emotion provoking or more, uh, I, I think better copywriting, uh, to get people to act that it came up with here. So, you know, if you're pausing, you can read through this. It's, it's not bad at all. I mean, it's really a good uh, starting point, but then it kind of, instead of the lists and the more detail and the longer form content, it, um, you know, I said, please continue. And it, and it came up with something that was a lot shorter and, and quite different actually. And so I said, I love the new emotion, emotional emotion provoking language you use, but it became quite short again. And we lost the patient education, all the stretches and exercises. Can you please incorporate what you just wrote with the things above? Right. And so it, it kind of did, it, it, it added in one of the, um, you know, one of the sections there and then it cut off again. I said, please continue. And so it, it expanded it out nicely. And, and then finally I was like, okay, there was this one segment that it had started with above or came up with above that I really did like. And I said, you know what, let's keep what you wrote above, but let's also incorporate this segment that I'm going to paste below that I really did like. And so it, it popped it in there and we ended up, well, no, this is another example of it kind of going back and losing the list, the longer form list of exercises and stretches, which I'm going to change up a lot, but I wanted that in there so that I can put in the things that I would suggest, right? 
So again, I said, looks like we lost a lot of the length. Reminder that you know I want this at least two thousand words, and you know please add in the list of exercises and stretches from from before. And he said, yeah, certainly. Here you go. And then finally, we we start to get pretty close to where I want to be. And they had taken out, they earlier on, there was a subsection. And this is really good for SEO, by the way. When you have subsections and you can use H2 subheaders, so the headlines are, are uh, H2 headers, that have the key phrases that you're trying to target, right? And so I asked them to add that back in. And so we have this nice, you know, kind of emotion provoking intro. And then we have these subheaders for exercise for lower back pain relief. Stretches for lower back pain relief. Uh, please continue. Then we got it. This is a manual therapy uh, section. We probably, you know, edit and put manual therapy for low back pain uh, as a subheader there. And, you know, and then it finishes out really strong. And that's what we ended up with. And so, you know, again, it, this wasn't like super fast, but it's only going to get faster. And as you get better with your prompts and know how to guide, how to start it off right and guide it through the process, you can very quickly get to a long form piece of content that then you're about 80% of the way there, maybe more, do some editing, change things out how you want to, hand it off to your staff to load it up. And you've got a badass blog post that you can turn into social media posts that you can, you could even take this and say, okay, great chat GPT. This is an awesome article. Can you please now um, create a script for a video that would be approximately two minutes long that takes the most compelling, you know, pieces from uh, this article uh, and would lead perfectly to me uh, inviting them for a free consultation at the clinic. That's the kind of thing you can do. You can, when you get to the, what you see, think is like the finishing point on this, think about like, what else can I do with this great piece of content or this close to finished piece of content and have chat GPT just come, you know, why not? If you already started squeezing the lemon, like get as much juice out of the squeeze as you can. Right. And so that's, that's basically how it's working right now. Um, super powerful already, only going to get faster and more powerful. Like I said before, if you're not already using AI, it's a great time to get into it because pretty soon it's going to be so advanced that people that are using it at a, at a high, high level and, and practices that are using it at a high level are really going to be hard to compete with in many areas of marketing, uh, copywriting, sales, etc. So get into it now, start playing with it. Um, again, you can download the, I'll have the final, I'll have this, I'm not going to edit it any further, but I'll just copy paste what it came up with. Uh, so you can kind of take that if you do treat low back pain. One thing I didn't have, I don't have in here and I didn't because I knew people might be downloading it from all over the world is when I do my final editing, I'm definitely going to do some additions of of my area, my geographical area, Austin, Texas will be in here so that it optimizes it to come up for people in Austin searching for low back pain solutions. Okay. If you have any questions for me or any comments, I love to see those. So please put them in the comment section below. If you have any friends or colleagues that you think could benefit from this that are, you know, struggling to, to take the time or make the time to create the content they need to market their practice, please share this with them or tag them below. And, uh, you know, as always, thank you so much for joining me. And in the meantime, until the next episode, please enjoy some of these related videos.